my name is Emma and welcome to Tuna Rice. What is tuna? What is rice? What is tuna rice? I know what rice is. I know what tuna is. Tuna is a fish, if you can't tell. Rice is, um, what's in this person's hand, if you can't tell. So, I don't think I've ever had tuna rice. I don't know what the hell that, in he that entails, but I guess we'll see. So, yeah, tuna rice. Tu tuna rice. My earliest memory wasn't the warmest, nor the most comfortable. It's wet and cold. I longed to curl onto that warm and soft belly my mother had selflessly lent me. It's been too long since she returned. I tried to cry for her presence. It usually worked. This time, it didn't. I wanted my mother... I wanted my mother back. I needed to eat. I remember that my mother mentioned about certain human who would offer her food. This human gave her the most gentle pet on her balding forehead. I could sniff the human scent on her. I decided to locate the scent. I hoped my mother would be there. I don't know how far I walked. I lost track of sense. It's wet and cold everywhere. It's dark, but I could presence humans, sense the presence of humans. They occasionally, pa they occasionally passed by. Oh, look at you, poor thing. You're so small and dirty. The voice came from this human who stopped in front of me. I could feel the worth, warmth permeate from those slender legs. Are you alone? Where's your family? Do you know where my mother is? I don't have anything on me. Do you want to come with me? I don't know what to feed you, though. Are you the whom? <clears throat> Are you the human whom my mother met? Let's go to my place for now. He lifts my body gently and places me on his warm embrace. This human scent is new to me. It's not the scent that was on my mother, but I don't hate this scent. It's dry and comfortable. The next time I opened my eyes, I didn't recognize anything. It's warm and dry. It's full of that human scent. I guess it's his place. Oh, you're awake. Yeah. I'm making dinner. Please wait a bit. One second later, a pop is heard. Then a delicious scent filled the air. We just got kidnapped, guys. Watch out. Watch out. So, overview. Cat. We cat. Us. We. Uh, the, 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 the. The over encompassing. Um. Mutual we, we cat. Mom, probably dead. Uh, person picked us up, kidnapped us. Kit kidnapped us, kidnapped us, catnapped us. Now let's continue. I only have tuna rice. I wonder if you'd like it. You can have half of my dinner. I couldn't hear of what he said next. I'm digging into this delicious fluff. Can cats eat rice? I learned recently that cats, cats technically shouldn't be drinking milk. Can cats eat rice? I finished it in no time. This human makes the best tuna rice. It's the only tuna rice you've ever had. Huh, you eat more than I thought. I should have made some more. Who are you, though? Why are you here? I crawled back into the warm pile of clothes that he wore before. You seem to like my jacket a lot, huh? I still couldn't sniff a trace of my mother, but I don't mind. I'm warm, dry, and full of that delicious tuna rice. He scratched the back of my head. I get sleepy. Oh? The human carried me to a place with a weird scent. They pricked my leg twice, dug onto my ears. I hated this. But this human looked relieved. You're such a good girl. Now let's get home. Do I feel like a good girl? Are my- I don't- Look, you can't just tell me- You can't just treat me like a child, even though I am a kitten, okay? Don't say that to me. I am a brave, independent kitten. Ugh, how dare you. This woman didn't take me to the weird place anymore. Glad I- Glad that he knew how much I hated the last time he took me out. After that, he would leave after the sun rose and return after the sun set. 
He almost always carried a tiring face, but his face lined up where our eyes met. The light of his life, that's what I am right now. I wonder what... I wondered what did others do to him that could give him such a hard time. I'm home, Faye. I miss you. I'm hungry! Can you make some more tuna rice? Oh, are you curious about my day? No! Give me food! They discarded my work that I worked on for a full week. My boss is so mean. Give me food! Warm and fluffy tuna rice for me! Now! Please! You're such a sweet girl, Faye. You understand me the best. No! Food! I'm hungry! I'm hungry! I'm hungry! Give me food! All right, all right. I got this cheap sashimi on sale. I'll grill your salmon slices, don't worry. Good! Thank you. Now, about your work day. I didn't really care. It always took me a few tries, but he seemed to understand me after that. Salmon is good, too. Once, this human came back with another human. They seemed to be close to each other. This other human had a weird scent. Oh, Faye doesn't like your perfume. She got angry at me when I tried to put one on me. They talked with each other some more. They curled up with each other. They made some noises. Mm, please... Are you having- are you doing the dirty in front of me? Because, like, you can just give me my food and I can, like, take a nap. I could hear the other humans say that- I could hear the other humans say that I was bothering them. I did nothing. Yeah, can I- can I go? I'll just turn the lights off, alright? Yeah, I'll just leave! I returned to my corner and slept. Didn't want to see none of that. Today, this human returned home with an expression that I couldn't understand. What's wrong? I should have known. She used me as a rebound. Are you alright? I was too dumb. I've liked her for so long. She never thought of me in that way. What happened? Did someone hurt you? I'm in so much pain, Faye. I climbed onto this human. He's cold and wet. Wow, what, what an angle to zoom in. It must have rained outside again. I gave him the jacket that warmed me up when I was cold and wet. He looked at me with such a sorrowful glance. Thank you. His voice broke. He weeped gently. The storm deafened his cry. I tried to comfort him the way my mother would do to me when I cried or cold. He tried to embrace me with his long arms. It's not comfortable, but I stayed. As long as he knows he'll have to feed me later. <laughs> You're so warm, Faye. You should make tuna rice. It'll make you feel warmer in this situation. You're the only one that understands me, Faye. I'd like tuna rice, too. You want to give me tuna rice? So yeah, trust me. Tuna rice would make you feel better. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot to feed you. Is tuna rice okay? I know I, f I should feed you something better. I'm, a, uh, am a bit tired. Tuna rice is the best. I know you love it. Because it's the first thing I've ever had, and I like a lot of ice. That evening, we ate warm and fluffy tuna rice together. Today's tuna rice is especially good, don't you think? I told you, tuna rice is the best. Heartbreak, heart disease, heart attack. Definitely, tuna rice will solve all your problems. You're so sweet, Faye. I'll work harder and feed you better food next time, okay? Don't overwork yourself or else I can't be fed. The human smiled brightly. I know that tuna rice would cheer him up. I hope my mother is somewhere out there too, warm and dry, with her own bowl of delicious tuna rice too. And that was tuna rice! Being the cat that got picked up fed tuna rice watched this dude break down from a heartbreak. What else is there to say, man? You a cat! You're hungry! You gotta do what you gotta do, even if it is to emotion- No, I'm kidding. Even if it's just to ask this heartbroken dude for tuna rice. I mean, in the end, it helped him out too. So, I mean, a win-win for everyone, don't you think? So, that was tuna rice, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye!